So, Paul, um, I understand that Shoma works in social media or is an influencer. Is that what they call them? Yeah. Is this something that you're happy with? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm very happy for her. But at the same time, I uh, respectfully, the way she conducts herself isn't um, managed fully. The, the damage control isn't really there. Pardon? And respectfully, I said respectfully. I kind of expected him to come up with this. Um, OK, let's get into it. I know he's going to bring up Instagram and how I carry myself and, and uh, how people see me. And I'm tired. Like, we have this conversation once every week. So, but yeah, let's get into it. Damage control, what does that mean? How can I put this? Uh, it's one thing to be in a platform to kind of, you know, showcase yourself. However, if it's then um, inappropriate what you're doing, and it's online that kind of affects the both of us. You're lying. You're lying now. Because how do I not conduct myself appropriately online? OK, cool. Random example, right? True story. So, Trauma goes out with her girls, right? Cool. All right. No, no, no. No, <laughs> oh, no. No, look, no, no. We're in therapy. Let's have the conversation, right? Anyway. This is a safe place, right? Yeah. Oh, everything that's said in here stays in yeah? these four Everything? I believe you. All right, look. Trauma goes out with the girls. So on this night, obviously we have mutuals. I know you're familiar with how Instagram works in terms of the stories. You watch one, it goes over to the do other you, automatically. Do you, ask, do you follow her? Or did you go on her page no, and no, click no. on her story? No, no, we have mutuals. I probably follow her, what? She's your friend. You know, just yeah, familiarity. Maybe I shouldn't be for her, I don't know, but she, it was there, I saw it. So long story short, uh, you know, Sean went out with the girls. I was on my um, Instagram just flicking through stories of my clients because I have clients that are influencers, right? So uh, the, the next slide that came along was, I, I, I literally saw Choma doing a crazy new dance or whatever, <laughs> and it was inappropriate. It was very disrespectful. Uh, it was, listen, listen, very disrespectful, and it was inappropriate, and I feel like she was over-sexualizing herself respectfully. When it comes to like social media, Snapchat, Instagram, stuff like that, with Choma, like she, yeah, she can be respectful generally, but at the same time, she's kind of like a, a mixture between like cute slash bite me, if you know what I mean. That, I don't, I don't mess with that. It's basically like a first trap. Do you understand the situation that he's talking about? Yes, I know the exact situation he's talking about. Um, so I went out mm -hmm. with my girls. Mm -hmm. We went to the club, mm -hmm. and I was having fun. I was oh. dancing. <laughs> I was having. That's fun. what they call it now. <laughs> I was having fun. And I was dancing. Um, I wasn't twerking or anything like ah, that. Ah, twerking. I was dancing. See, see. I was dancing. He says I was twerking. That's why I'm. Only, that's the only reason that's twerking. I didn't see. It. Did I? Did I mention twerking? You didn't need to mention it now, but that's your point, right, babe? Because you've you've spoken to me about this. You mentioned a twerking. I didn't times. mention twerking. Denise, okay. I was dancing with my knees bent. Let's just say that my friend was recording the environment, and I was in that video for one second or less than that. Okay, I didn't post it onto my page because I know how my man is. Um, I'm not ready to go home and argue. I don't want any conflict. At the end of the day, I don't want anything. Um, I wasn't dancing on a man, and I wasn't over-sexualising myself. I was having fun. He now has an issue with that. Why? So, and why is that something I need to apologise for? So tell me, when you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. sometimes it, it could be seen that if you're at the bar having a drink, if someone took a, took a picture, it might look like you are chatting to somebody in an inappropriate way. Yeah, but, you, you, but you know what? I'll tell you something. A picture paints a thousand words, right? Now, a thousand words, if you're educated, like myself, once you digest it, you understand what it means. So all it takes is one second for me to see one or two moves that I know, okay, something's going on. Yeah, that she's trying to do I was, something. I was dancing. You know, was a, yeah, <laughs> like... Okay, if you didn't post it on your page, why would you let your friend post it on her page? First of all, it wasn't, it, it's not like she was videoing me. She was videoing the area. I, I was in, babe, how many seconds was I in that video for? The only reason as to why I didn't post it was because I know how he is, but I have every right to do that. And if I wanted to post it, I would have posted it. That's inconsiderate. That's just what it is. That's inconsiderate. Me and my girls respect ourselves. I respect myself. I don't embarrass him online, nor do I embarrass myself. So. All of this is controlling. Um, I feel like he's a little bit narcissistic, but I'm not gonna put up with this shit because I know how I carry myself and it's very respectful. 
so he can drop that. Jamal, you were the one that reached out to come to therapy. Was there anything in particular that you wanted to talk about? Um, so yeah, I've experienced therapy before. I've done a solid eight months. Um, and I think this was so beneficial for our relationship. Um, the reason why obviously I brought Deborah to therapy with me is I feel like she doesn't value my words. So I'm just questioning my manhood as well. Um, in also, what way? Um, so being a provider, I provide for her, of course, but I feel like with her high expectations and the things that she expects from me, it's going above and beyond the person that I probably am. So an example was, okay, I got a Gucci bag. As soon as, like, probably like, what, two weeks, she was talking about, oh, let's go to Greece for her birthday and stuff. And I was thinking, I've just literally got you an expensive gift. Can't you just, like, wait? Why can't we do both? Yeah, we can do both, but times have changed. Like, I'm looking to buy a house. Um, I've got a project in Ghana I'm obviously sorting out. Obviously, got a new project I'm even doing, a health retreat as well, which obviously costs a lot of money. And I just feel like Deborah needs to actually understand money, understand the value of money and the time that needs to be put into that. Deborah doesn't really value money. Like, it's all cool when she's by herself, but when it's us, like, together, like, that can't really run anymore. Like, it seems like it's being more of an anchor. We're trying to build together, right? That's what relationships are all about. So, personally, if she wants it to flourish, then she needs to kind of think about the money aspect of things. I feel like she's controlling. Um, she doesn't allow me to do particular things. So like my social media- Allow you? Yes, allow me. Oh, please. Yeah, so my social media activity- You actually do what you wait, like. Let's, let's, let's get that right. Hold on, babe, let's not do that. She asked me the question. Okay, cool. So yeah, she just controls my social media activity. Um, obviously that's because you do too much. Oh, well, that's, that's what generates me money as well. So that's obviously is buying the gifts for her. So there shouldn't really be a problem. But she's what money. clubhouse buying me gifts? Yeah, if I'm making money and monetizing off it, of course it's a problem. So tell me, your business. Yeah. Um, do you market yourself through show, social media? Yeah. So obviously, it's a lot of it's through social media, through marketing. Um, a lot of it's mouth to mouth as well. But um, the issue is, she just feels that. Because I'm on social media, she just thinks I'm doing it out of leisure rather than business. Right. And it isn't totally leisure. It no, is. majority. So I'll say like, if we're going to put it on like percentages, I'll say 80% is business, 20% is we have leisure. And do you understand that? No. No. <laughs> no. So when no. I'm buying these gifts, so what? Okay, first of all, let's just calm down because Clubhouse does not generate enough funds for you to buy me a Gucci bag. Have you seen my accounts? That's for one. Secondly, it's just, the social media for me is just too obsessive. Um, this excuse about how it's, you know, it's part of your business, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't take away from the fact that I still like expensive gifts. Like, you know the girl that you got with. Jamal knows the type of girl that he got with. Like, I like looking good and I like the luxury bands, the Fendi's, the Gucci's. The next purchase that I want Jamal to get for me is a product bucket hat. Like, he knows the girl he got with. I'm a female. You're my boyfriend. Mm. I expect for my boyfriend to look after me. Like, and that's just it. So you bringing this up is you know, I'm Tell me, I'm not really understanding. When he gives you these gifts, what does that make you feel like? Um, it makes me feel like a princess. <laughs> when I was younger, my dad, even till this day, like he treats me like a princess and that's my expectation of a man. You know, towards the beginning, he started off like that, you know, slightly, but now it's completely done, Jane. Like there's nothing that like Jane. that. So what, I treat you like a princess no more, no? Mm, no, he doesn't. Do you ever go out socially in a group of people? Of course. He does. He goes out, he gets tables with his friends and he has these women, single women, sipping his champagne and dancing on him on his table. No, 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 not dancing I don't anymore. have an issue with that because I know you're just partying, you're clubbing, you're going to come back to me, correct? Yeah. I trust you and I feel as though you wouldn't cheat. So why don't you give me that same trust? Because I'm dancing, I'm, I'm humiliating myself and I'm humiliate, humiliating us as a couple. Come off your high horse. I'm so, t like, this is what I mean. He has issues. So, so Paul, Shoma's so just said that you go out and you spend money on champagne and you have young ladies sitting around. Of course. Um, is that what happens? Yeah. But, but, no, but, but, I have an explanation, right? So look at it like this now. <clears throat> you know, as I have mentioned, you know, or oh, she mentioned, I have affluent um, people that I associate myself with. Um, you know, also my clients are quite wealthy too. If I'm going to a club, right, 
with a couple of clients or a person that I'm looking to make a client, uh, am I going to stand at the bar? Not I really. don't know. Okay, I'll tell you, that's not how business works. I would potentially want to, maybe not wow the person, but create a standard. These people that I work with and deal with are used to a, st a certain standard of living. Yeah. Now, if you want to get business from people like this, you kind of need to be able to show that you understand certain things. Does this make sense? So if, if, if I then go over to um, a club and I'm trying to woo a client and we're there standing by the toilets, yeah, but I'm no not getting said. the deal. No, 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 facts. I will not get that deal. Coming where I'm coming from, for you to kind of transition over to the other side, there's certain things that you need to do. You need to conduct yourself in a certain way. Do you know what I mean? And whether you like it or not, money has to be spent. If you're trying to deal with a person that is worth millions, you can't go there looking like you're looking for peanuts. When I'm in the club, in a certain environment, you know, drinks, all the good stuff for the client, right? When I actually come back with the bag, mm. as Trauma said, there's no complaints. So why the hell are we having the discussion now? Why would I complain about you getting the bag? That's that's not what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but this here. is what it takes. No, you can first of all, you don't have to go to the club to woo a client. You can take them for dinner. You could go to a pub and have drinks, you and that client. And if you're gonna go to the club, you can invite other guys, correct? You have friends, babe. Don't mix business and pleasure. But so why are why are women with you and your business partner? Because that's not pleasure, that's business. With women that run, women that you've selected, buff things that you've selected to yeah, put on your table. Me. Yeah, you're just he's he's insulting me right now. Right. Because so you I can do stuff and I can't. It's not for me. Who are you speaking to? It's not for me. The one thing I have Instagram that is away from him, he wants to control that and police that. Like I've lost out on a lot of deals. Um, I don't even post as often because of Paul, and he's out here entertaining women. Like Paul has a type, so if it's business. He should pick the type that the, the partner wants, right? So he's getting all his type on his table and he wants me to be happy with that. Excuse you. So as far as you're concerned, just explain to me how you want him to treat you. Um, I would definitely say, you know, I don't want to put a, a timestamp on like how often you should get me gifts, but I just feel like... You know, here and there, I think the last time he bought me something was September, my birthday, which was the Gucci bag. That's the last time that I've gotten like an expensive gift. But and the if value it's not... on these gifts, is, Sorry? It, is the value on these gifts, is it the value of the gift or is it something else? I think it's a bit of both. You know, I like, I, I like to look good and Jamel knows this, so it's just a about keeping up, I think. I don't keeping think he really up. keeps up as a man. I don't think I'm asking for too much to, to, to look, do you not want me to look good? Babe, I'll do you not want me to look no, good? I would love you to look good, but I feel like I'm 27 right now and she's 24. So me, I'm looking at assets, I'm looking at building, I'm thinking about building our future. I don't think age's got Wait, to do anything with does, it. Because I feel like you're just here for the fast life, you're here for the now, you're not thinking forward. Like I'm doing the best for both of us, not just myself. Like before I was saving for myself, but now you've come into the picture, I feel like I'm carrying the ship, driving the ship, literally be in the ship. I mean, I feel like you're making excuses now. Really? Um, for me, it's like, you can't set a standard at the start and then completely change it. Like, that's not gonna work for me. At the beginning, you were keeping up, you were buying me the gifts, you were taking me out, and now all of a sudden it's changed. Every female in a relationship should be treated like a princess. And that is the standard that I have set and that is the standard that we set as females. Any guy that can't take their girl out regularly, buy her gifts and attend to her needs, you're not ready to be in a relationship. Take a break, decide what you want to do, get your money up and then we go again. So why do you have a girlfriend if you can't afford it? Is whoa, that your... whoa, whoa, this is your first relation, don't do that. Oh. What kind of places were you going to? Wow, are we going there? Yeah, Sorry, Denise, are we going there? Yeah, we're going to do that. So you're going to say, I'm going to tell the world that... No, hold on. You're, you're going to tell the world that okay. this is my first relationship. That's Bad. embarrassing. Bad. So... Bad. Sorry, Jamel, what are you talking about? I was saying that this is our first relationship, so I feel like... That's has... besides the fact. I have spoken to guys before. I've, you know, dated a few guys. I've had experience with guys, but that's what we're not going to do. Like, I've spoken to guys before. Um, it's not been as successful, yeah, fair enough, but you can't say that, I don't know, by relationship. So, did you have any kind of idea of the way a relationship would work? Uh, it's clear that me and Deborah are on two different pages of life. Obviously, I'm 27, she's 24. Um, I'm living for, like, the later, trying to get my property and other things. Um, and obviously, she's trying to live within the now, like, the fast life, the, 
the flashy things. I've been there, done that. Like, it's great, but right now we need to think about things for the future. I need to flourish. And I don't want it to be a thing where she's anchoring my life. I want it to be a thing where we're going together and going places together. I think that's the way we should be going. Do you trust Paul when he's out? I do trust Paul when he's out. Yes. And I trust you too. What are your... No, you don't. You don't trust me, clearly. So, hang on. What are your feelings for Paul? I'm in love with Paul. Um, that's why I reached out to you, because I'm trying to save our relationship. I don't want it to get to a point where you realise what you've lost when it's too late, OK? That's not a threat. I'm just saying, because you need to understand that you're kind of being unfair to me, babe, and you have been for a while. And, yeah, I love him and I kind of want to work through this, but I need him to understand and to kind of see what he's doing. And he doesn't see that. Right. Paul, let me reverse it now. Do you trust Shona? I do. Really? You do? Yeah. That's good. So why can I not dance, then? No, no, no. Look, it's not just the dancing. Uh, look, you're trying to make it look like I'm nitpicking and I'm pick... It's the mentality, right? So, look, social media, just to stick onto that for a second, right? OK. Let's look at a case scenario whereby she posts a picture. Beautiful, right? Now, if she has um, a comment from a guy, love struck, then if she's liking and commenting on it, oh, thanks, hun. Don't, do you think that's necessary? Answer the question. It does oh. depend on the reasons why. Oh, really? There's no... Okay, 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 okay. Would you do that in your relationship? I don't think it's about my relationship. No, but answer the question. Okay, let's get to what I'm posting. I'm not posting my bum, and I'm not posting my breasts, so I'm not posting in provocative ways. I can post a selfie and a man can comment. And bearing in mind, yeah, this could be a man I don't know, or it could be one of my male friends. Paul would have an issue with that. I will hear headache. He will tell me to delete the comment. Though, why are you liking it? I am friendly by nature. So, again, I'm on a platform as well. I don't want to appear snobbish. I don't think there is any insult to reply into a comment that somebody has done. Quite frankly, I feel like I get more attention from social media than I do Paul. And I feel as though, subconsciously, that's probably what is affecting him. Because he feels like, why are you giving my woman more love than I give her? Then how about you up your game? At the end of the day, when you live with someone in the house, you've been with a person for a few years, obviously, it's not every second you're going to give them a compliment. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, on Instagram, if a person's there, what, chasing her down, then I'm, it's not like, OK, that makes me want to chase her down. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, what's going on? It's, I'm going to be a tiny bit triggered, if you know what I mean? Because I'm there, I can see it. It's blatant, it's in my face. There's no reason for him to feel the way he feels. To me, that's a little bit controlling or borderline narcissistic. Mm. And I, yes, mm, and I didn't get with him like that. He knew I was on social media before. He was one of the people liking my pictures. So now, I don't know what you want. Maybe lock me in a room. Maybe I don't post or start on follow, deleting okay, my babe, babe. profile. Let, 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 let me take it from here. OK. What I got from what you just said is you want to be tamed, right? What? I, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, I, I'm not going to do that. You understand? You leave that to someone else. But what I can tell you is that all of this, you posting and entertaining other guys, it's not going to get you far. Who's enter First of all, who's and what, what are you saying? If, what no, does no, that no, mean? No, 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 I'm just saying, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'm trying to be honest. That's not going to get me far in our yeah, situation. Yeah, because obviously, if you think about it, if you're now equivalent love on a love struck emoji on Instagram to real life love, you've already failed. What stupid love, babe? That's what. You what stupid love are you giving me, first of all? Because I'm not equating the love struck to love. I'm just saying that. For example, I, we could go out for dinner and I could wear a really nice dress. Paul would not say anything. He will take the picture at the end of the evening and I can post in that dress and people will love the dress. All of a sudden, he'll say, oh, the dress is nice, but why are they commenting? Why are they doing this? Why couldn't you say it before? To me, it's like he's probably upset because I get the attention that he's not giving me. Not that I'm equating it to love and I'm, and I'm holding on to the love as if it's real. We know how social media is. It changes. So, Paul, do you believe that you are giving um, Shoma the love that she wants, requires, likes? We live together. We're yeah. roommates. But you know you can be in a room full of people and be lonely. That's not the case. So, right, so when you're together in a room, you feel that that is giving her love? 100%. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? That's just... That's wow, isn't it? Because... Um, 
It wasn't always like that. I don't know what's changed, but if you feel like that's giving me love, then that's fine. What can I say? So yeah, I'm the provider in this relationship. And most of the time I do handle the finances. Um, would I say it's something that I learned growing up? Not really, but it's something that I did pick up along the way. Um, and that's how I plan to move forward. And is that the way you like it? Yeah, oh, 100%, 100%. Um, I'm pulling faces, sorry. I just think he could do a bit more um, as a man. Um, yeah. You know, my expectations of Jamal is to, yes, be the provider, but then you also have to look after me as my boyfriend. Do you get what I mean? And I feel like um, there's been a lack of that as of recent. You know, he seems to n not want to buy me certain things that I ask for. What, expensive stuff? Yeah, and on top of that, like, I like going to restaurants, Pakistan, Sexy Fish, you know? And that's the sort of restaurants that I like to go to. Jamel doesn't really, because he's saving for a house, I guess that's the excuse he's using these days. Oh. He doesn't want to do what he needs to do as a man, as my boyfriend, as my man. What normal girl doesn't want to go hack a sand, sexy fish, is actually the norm. Me and my girls, before we were in relationships, we took ourselves there. So I expect my man to take me there. It's the norm, it's a no brainer. What are your expectations of him as a man? Um, definitely to look after me, um, to cover me financially. I know we've only been together for a year, but you know, that's my expectation from, from the get-go. When I was younger, my dad used to take me everywhere I needed to go. Even when I was driving, he was still taking me where I needed to go. So that's what I expect of Jamal, just to basically be there for me as my protector, provider, and... And Jamal, what are your expectations It's, of it's funny she says that, because I feel like I do that already. I think the question I've actually got for Deborah is, what exactly do you bring to the table? Are you joking? Did I start? That's rude. That is very rude. I don't... Like, should he be asking me that? That's actually <laughs> rude. But I bring a lot to the table. You know that I have a nine to five. You know that I have a fashion business that I'm about to open. Yeah, which I help so, you with. Yeah, you help me with it. But I don't think it's right for you to say, what do I bring to the table? So are you trying to say I don't bring anything to the table? Um, I feel like you could just definitely do a bit more. Um, obviously, me leading the finances. Obviously, as I said, I'm the provider. I feel like Deborah can definitely do a bit more. Obviously, I feel like she's actually anchoring me rather than both lift or elevate into government. Well, when you get the house, then maybe I could do more. But for now, the house isn't here oh, yet. So you don't want to do nothing So out I will hold up my end of the, you know, relationship. But at this present moment in time, it's up to you as a man to get us there. That's just my view. Okay. Ridiculous. And that's not the way you see it? 100% not. I feel like in times like this, I feel like we should be elevating together. Like, this is the reason why we're actually in therapy right now, to actually... OK, so how would you like me to help you? I don't understand. Um, do you even save? That's oh, my gosh, we're not going to discuss about that. That's what we're not going to do. I don't want to talk about what my savings on TV, like, not that serious. The fact is, you're my boyfriend, and what I expect of you as my man is to provide for me at this present moment in time. Like I said, when we get married, if we get married, then we'll think about things that I need to do. But for now, you need to take us there, like, it's... It. I wouldn't, you see the conversation we're having now, I wouldn't be able to have it at home with Paul because he gets so heated or he dismisses me. So if I'm telling now what you'd like him to do, I would like you to give me some, some love, like some affection. Um, acknowledge that I'm there. Do you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. I don't know what to say because, yeah, I don't know. Just, babe, babe, you're taking a fucking piss. And you're laughing. Look. No, 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 wait. no, 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 wait, wait. Now, okay. Out of everything that I've just said, in terms of, you know, the guy, her entertaining it on the emoji stuff, you're now telling her to ask me what she wants from me when she is the one that is ruining our brand. Our brand? How is, what, how is my, how has my Instagram got anything to do with you? Hmm. No, tell me, because you met me on the Instagram. Did you build my platform? Hmm. Yeah, straight away. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with him, and that's what he's too possessive over that account. Do you want it? Because it has nothing to do with you. Mm. If you maybe you log me out and sign your name, if Paul, Paul fundamentally, no, fundamentally no, 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 his face no, there. No, 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 no. I need to. Get, no, no. I need this one. It's not yours. It's not. We don't have a brand. We're in a relationship. We don't have a brand. I'm Choma. You're Paul. When they book me for things, they don't say, "Oh, by the way, post with Paul." It has absolutely nothing to do with you. So stay out of it. 
Okay. I feel like my Instagram yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard, I've heard. Look. Paul met me on Instagram. Can we deep that? Can we take that in? Like, he met me on this same platform he no longer wants me to post. This same platform that he doesn't like the way I carry myself was the same platform he came to me on. Is this making sense to anyone? Because I, I'm confused. He was in my DMs and now all of a sudden I should stop responding to them. He was in the comments, he was liking the pictures. Now he doesn't even follow me. Let me give you a tiny bit of coaching now. There's a difference between a brand and a face of a brand, okay? Now, the guy behind the camera, that's the brand. Everything in front of it is the product. So I'm the product, so no, you're no, no, selling no. me. No, 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 so no, no. You're, you're selling yourself. About? You're selling yourself. Now listen to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I'm, I'm a creator, else. right? I work with creatives. And what we do is we work with different products. Because you, put, you take pictures, you're now part of a brand. Also, do they pay you no, 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 when they email me? Is your name in the wait, email? Let me finish, wait, let me finish. Let me I didn't finish. think so. Let, let me finish, let me finish. What, what Trump is not getting is that- Oh my gosh. I'm speaking from a position of power. Do you understand? The position I'm in, I don't get stressed over, oh, does my makeup look nice? Does, I, like, does my hair look nice? I don't have hair. Do you see where I'm coming from? Now, at the end of the day, this is really, really a waste of my time, but do you know what? I'll call no, 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 Let me finish, let me finish. Now, you fucking wasted my time today, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. Listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. Everyone's listening to you, don't want shouting. Listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. Now, at the end of the day, there's a show, right? With every show, behind the show, is the curtains. You're not part of I'm it, I'm the sorry. one that's pulling the fucking strings. You're not pulling but any strings. she can't string. see it. You're not pulling any strings. It's over her head. You're taking pictures She's seeing Skittles like from, this, from the sky. She thinks it's natural. No, excuse me. she doesn't me. know there's someone that's on top that's pouring the Skittles. Uh, what are you talking about? This is, this is getting nobody anywhere. Yeah. Exactly, and that's why, why the fuck I'm leaving the street. something that you have nothing my time. to do with? You. <laughs> thank you and no thank you. What are you claiming? Can someone carry this equipment, please? Where are you going? Let him go. Getting bullshit. How has I got, what the? Do you see what, do you see what I have to deal with? Show oh my God. <sighs> Just take a minute. It's interesting that you say that you require the man to look after you. Yes. What's your family background? My dad um, was always the breadwinner in the house. Um, he, he looks after all of us. So he has five girls as well as his wife. So yeah, he, that's, that's how I was raised. He looked after us. He, you know, he was always going to work. He was always providing. On top of that, looking after my mum, buying her gifts, you know, taking care of her. Growing up with my dad, he treated me like a princess. He took me everywhere I needed to go. He bought me whatever I wanted. And he has taught me not to accept anything less. That is the standard that I've set for my partner. And what do you take from those gifts? What do those gifts mean to you? For me, it just shows appreciation. It shows that you're fulfilling your role as a man. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how it makes me feel. Denise, I think the problem is not the gifts, is the understanding about getting the gifts and when the gifts, the gifts doesn't arrive. I feel like even with going on dates and stuff like that, she just wants to pick everything. It's almost like she's trying to be controlling, if you know what I mean. Controlling, because I'm choosing the restaurant. Yeah, you want to pick everywhere you're going to go. You want to pick this, this, like, even controlling my social media um, activity, even things that I want to wear. It's like, you're trying to lay things on the bed for That's, me. he's okay, he's stretching it too far now. Like, I'll, I'm doing it for the better, like, Better for, what better? You think I can't handle my own? I don't want Jamal to be embarrassing me. He likes to comment on girls' photos. You know, I laugh at girls that their man will be commenting on other girls' photos. I don't like, that's not me being controlling. That's me saving myself from embarrassment. That's what it is. My problem is how Deborah behaves when she doesn't get away. It's just too sport brightish. Like, I get her age and stuff, but that's no excuse. Like, even when she tries to get away, it's a bit too controlling for my liking. Like, I get she likes the flashy things of life and stuff like that, but that needs to get out the window now. And do you um, choose his clothes? I mean, sometimes. She can't choose my clothes. She tries to police. I think that's... Sometimes. The... You take my advice. There's a difference between advice and policing. We're not going to police my clothing. I've had enough of it. So, d d uh... What? Don't, don't worry. Denise, I mean, sorry, I don't understand.
this is what this is this is what I mean. Like sometimes he literally just gets so angry, and we can't even talk about anything anymore. Are like, you saying he he's got anger issues? Sometimes he can just get so angry and just shut down, and then walks out. Okay, but he, he's never been physical with you. No, 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 definitely not. Um, we never ever take it there. He normally removes himself from the situation, but um, for me, I'm not really sure why he got angry with having a conversation. I think at the time uh, you were talking about this control, he felt controlled. Mm. Um, but that's not the way you think no, you're I reacting. Think, I, don't, I don't think so. Like, we're a couple, like, I advise him on what he should wear. I, with the messages, on, with the comments on um, Instagram, like, sorry, I'm not going to have that at all. You can't be commenting on girls' photos. That's nothing to do with me being controlling. We can move forward with a, an exercise of some sort and uh, we can bring it all back together again. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Are you OK? Yeah. Does it upset you when he acts like this? Maybe I can be a little bit aggressive with how I talk, but at the same time, if he's not meeting my expectations, I'm going to voice it. Like, I voice my opinions and I feel like that's what he has an issue with. Is this the way that he would end an argument normally? Yes. yes. Like, normally I'm not even able to get this far because as soon as I say something, he's triggered. If he doesn't want to hear it, he's triggered and he dismisses me. Like I said, he walks out. This is what I mean, like, and he thinks there's nothing wrong with us. I mean, I didn't expect it to happen so early on, but... I knew he was going to walk out at some point. He likes to run away from problems. And that's what he's done now, OK? So we are unable to have a conversation because he doesn't like what I'm saying. I have to go after him once again. Like, I have to be the one to solve these things. I have to be the one to squash our beef. So I guess that's, that's the role I have to take on as his girlfriend. How is someone claiming something that has nothing? He met me on Instagram. So how are you now taking the platform and saying, oh, I need to post what you want me to post? How's that got anything to do with you? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I'm shouting, no, but it's okay. like, I love this man, I really do, but he's just, he just doesn't like, he doesn't see from my perspective. He just, he, he, I don't even feel like, I don't know if he loves me. That's just the honest truth. How long have you felt like this? From when we moved in together. So things changed then? Yes. I feel like I started seeing the real Paul. Um, because obviously a lot of things started getting under my skin more because I'm spending, well, I'm seeing you every evening now. Unlike before, I would visit him on weekends, stuff like that. Now he's just a complete asshole. Can, sorry, can I use that? He's a complete asshole. Like, he has become, he's so pompous, so arrogant, like... But, you know, the, what you've just said is people, he's changed since you've moved in together. Do you think that maybe you might have changed slightly since you've moved in together? I wouldn't say I've changed. I think I'm, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be heard. I just want to be heard in my household. It's my house as well, do you know what I mean? I want to have a voice and Paul is kind of gradually taking away my voice, literally. I'm sorry, let me, because I don't want to have these kind of conversations without him, you know, because again, I want it to be constructive. Um, so. I'll be back. Just give me a second. But if I'm it, so if, sorry. If it's too much, then don't worry. We can No, because he needs to be here. This is why I kind of reached out to you. I'm so sorry. Just give me a That's minute. That's fine. She's taking the piss. Like, she knows me better than anyone else, and she knows how I get in these situations. Like, she almost comes like she's trying to manipulate this whole environment. Like, I've had enough of it. I'm done. Uh -huh. Um, I just can't tolerate disrespect. Like, I've brought her here to therapy and I just feel like she's intentionally trying to embarrass me because obviously, I guess, maybe I've been doing tit for tat and obviously there's times where I'm going to be petty and stuff, but there's a right place and the right time for that and this one here. Being here, to me, it's just a joke. I knew from day one it's all bullshit. I calculated everything. Do you understand? Therapy or not. It's, it's a hot mess, to be fair. And now the whole world gets to see it, thanks to trauma. Like, I, I don't know if I can see myself coming back to this. I've tried for our relationship, mm -hmm. do you understand? But right now it's like, come on. Like, I've done what I can do, like. Yeah, do you know? Yeah, privacy? Yeah, am I gonna have privacy? Will you give me a minute? Paul lacks his ego stroked every now and then, and I'm quite happy to do that 
for me, this therapy session means a lot. It means a lot more than he even understands. This is the last leg for me. Um, and if this doesn't work out, then I'm not gonna stay in this relationship. Like we are done. And I wanna be able to feel as though um, I tried my best. Even though I'm pissed off, at the same time, obviously like, I've invested like three years into the relationship and I know what this means to her. I have to still kind of be a bit logical slash considerate to the situation and my partner, you know, I'm not a total asshole. So yeah, I'm not leaving yet. Why are we taking her children to Thought Park? We're not parents. Of recent, I've been sacrificing a lot of my time to look after kids that are not mine. I don't know why he doesn't want to bring me around his family, but it's definitely shady. You haven't even tried or seen me in that setting to prejudge and now say that because I'm loud, I can't meet your family. Babe, I know you. Like, don't make it seem like I'm not, like, from a random boy from your past or whatever. Like, I know you. Choma, you need healing. I need healing from who? From your sister? From yourself. No, let me tell you something. I will heal perfectly if you stop her from coming to the house. To be fair, I'm very, very disappointed in you. Why? Oh yeah, you know us Ghanaians and Nigerians, like, obviously Nigerians are a bit loud. Well, would my parents take to the fact that she's so loud? I think not. The female attention, let's just bring it down a bit, because you love yeah. it. I've got a new client that are women, cool, that is my market. If that's such a problem, get me clients then. 